Welcome to Storytime with a Scientist. My name is Levent, and today we're going to be reading this book, The Magic School Bus Gets Cleaned Up by Kristen Earhart. If we've learned one thing in Mrs. Fizzle's class, it is to be ready for anything. Miss Fizzle is full of surprises. Today, we are starting a new science unit about air pollution. We've learned about some far out things with the frizz, but air pollution sounds like something to get choked up about. Air pollution, substances in the air that cause problems for people and nature. It's that time again, Miss Fizzle announces. When we see the sparkle in her eyes, we all know we're in for a class trip. We never go on normal field trips, Arnold groans. Yeah, but now we're just studying the air, Tim says. What could be more normal than that, Wanda agrees. We could be going anywhere. Because air pollution can get everywhere. When Air Gets Dirty by Dorothy Ann. Air is naturally clean, but pollution can make it dirty. Pollution can be gases or bits of junk that can harm living things. We were just leaving the school when Miss Fizzle gasped. I forgot my map, our teacher exclaimed. I'll go get it. Stay on the bus, kids. But when Miss Fizzle left, our bus started to shake. We felt a jolt and heard a cough. Gasp, hack, wheeze, cough. The magic school bus is sick. Look at all that smoke. Poor bus. Poor us. Burning more than rubber by Carlos. When fuel burns in an engine, some leftover stuff comes out the tailpipe. This stuff is called exhaust. The exhaust from school buses can be harmful. When a bus is parked while the engine is burning, it is called idling. Idling makes unnecessary exhaust. With each cough, the bus got smaller. We got as small as a dust particle and we saw lots of stuff in the air. Yuck, what is that? Wanda asked. That's particulate matter from the buses, Dorothy Ann said. It's usually way too small for us to see, but it pollutes the air and makes it dirty, Tim said. The pollution bits are so small, they can go places they shouldn't. Like in our lungs. <coughs> what is particulate matter by Tim? Most school buses use a kind of fuel called diesel. Diesel exhaust contains billions of bits of soot called particulate matter. These bits of soot can be so small that thousands could fit on the dot at the end of this sentence. Because the bits are so small, the wind can carry them for many miles. Oh no, Phoebe called, pointing out the front window. The wind blew us straight at Mr. Rivera, the crossing guard. Look out! A strong gust of wind blew us right inside Mr. Rivera's nose. Ew, are those hairs? Gross. They're not gross. They're good. Very good. Mr. Rivera didn't know we were inside him. The nose hairs help filter out big particles from the air so they don't go into your lungs, DA tells us. The bus was so tiny it slipped right through the hairs. We were headed down the windpipe. Where's your class, Mrs. Fizzle? The class started its trip without me, Mr. Rivera. I'm meeting them soon. Kids and Pollution by Ralphie. Kids can be at great risk from pollution. Kids' bodies are still growing, so pollution affects them more. Kids breathe faster, so they take in more air. And we're short, so we're close to the exhaust. Once we were in the lungs, we could see that Mr. Rivera had breathed in stuff other than air. Smaller particles can go even deeper into the lungs, DA told us. I could use a breath of fresh air. Mr. Rivera could too. 
The lungs started to exhale and we began to go faster than ever. A high-pitched sound rang through the bus. It's a whistle, Wanda yelled over the noise. Mr. Rivera had blown his whistle and we were shooting straight into the air. The wind caught our bus and blew it into the sky. Our bus was still sputtering and wheezing. We went higher and higher with each cough. Look, Tim called. There's Miss Fizzle. She's getting on the bus with Miss Burke's class. The bus needs her help. We need Miss Fizzle's help. May I ride with you to meet my class, Miss Burke? We could see Miss Burke's bus far below. It was leaving the school and turning onto the highway. Follow that bus! People use diesel-fueled engines because they do important work, are powerful and efficient, and last a long time. Other things that use diesel include tractors, trains, ships, bulldozers, trucks, dump trucks, buses. Now we can glide down and get Miss Fizzle's attention, DA called. I hope my class is enjoying its trip without me. A Different Fuel by Phoebe. Regular diesel fuels come from underground and we can use them up. Once they are gone, we can't get any more. Biodiesel fuels come from plant and animal sources. We can always make more and they are better for the environment too. Then the wind blew us straight past the Frizz's window in Miss Burke's bus. She was busy examining her map. She didn't seem to see us. But when she shook her keys, something funny happened to the bus. She's looking at a map of the inside of an engine. I have a bad feeling about this. The wind blew us to the front of Miss Burke's bus. Where are we going? Keisha asked. According to my research, DA said as she looked in her book, we're moving with the air into the engine of Miss Burke's school bus. I've never been that into buses. We're taking a trip through the bus's engine, DA told us. Right now, we're in the engine block, she said, and pointed to a picture in her book. To get out, we need to follow the exhaust to the tailpipe. It's so hot in here. That's because of the burning fuel. I knew I should have stayed home today. A trip through a diesel engine. Fuel is burned in the engine block and makes exhaust. The exhaust goes through a pipe. The pipe can have things to clean the exhaust. Look at us, cried Wanda. We were covered with bits of soot. We've left the engine block. Now we're in the exhaust system, DA explained. Pollution and soot can be left after the fuel burns. We're all covered in particulate matter. Exhaust was everywhere. It was extremely dirty. My mom's never going to believe this. My dad thinks I'm dirty after baseball. How will we find Miss Fizzle? Phoebe asked. Then we noticed that the exhaust was going into a special device. And we were going with it. DA looked in her book. My research shows that this filter traps almost all the particulate matter. The walls are collecting pollution like a sponge. But we're passing through. After we went through the filter, we were all clean again. Then we heard a familiar voice. It was Miss Fizzle. It's wonderful that you already had a filter put on your bus, Miss Burke but I'm looking forward to having one put on my bus as well, the Frizz said. We're clean. My mom's never going to believe this. Clean as a Whistle by Phoebe. Old diesel buses can make dirty exhaust. Many of them don't have good filters. Now new filters can be installed in old buses to reduce up to 90% of the particulate matter in their exhaust. With the filter, Bus exhaust is much less harmful. Suddenly, we were in an auto shop and we had on mechanics outfits. Miss Fizzle was there with a the mechanic. Class, this is Mr. Spencer, said Miss Fizzle. He's going to put a filter on our bus that will clean the exhaust so the bus won't be sick anymore. We all nodded. 
After our trip through the engine, we all knew how important Mr. Spencer's work was. The filter is great, but there are other ways to reduce bus pollution. The clean air checklist. Number one, ask your bus driver to turn off the engine when the bus is parked. Number two, keep up with bus maintenance. Number three, use cleaner fuels like clean diesel fuel or biodiesel. Number four, line buses up side by side, not front to back at school. Number five, get old buses fitted with exhaust cleaning devices like filters and catalysts. Number six, replace really old diesel buses with new clean diesel or compressed natural gas buses. We helped Mr. Spencer install the particulate filter. Then we got ready to head back to school. Vroom vroom, the bus purred to life. We were glad the bus was healthy again. The bus is better than ever. Other buses are too. But our bus will always be the weirdest bus. Good news. Starting in 2007, all new diesel school buses will have built-in particulate matter filters, with more improvements coming in 2010. A phone call to Spencer's. Ring, ring! Spencer's, the bus mechanic you can trust. Hello, Mr. Spencer. I'm not so sure people should trust you. That's ridiculous! But you're in this book that says buses can shrink and fly. Okay, but... And what about saying that kids can pass through a bus filter? We all know that can't really happen, but... And I heard that you wear a wig? Now, wait a, just a minute. My hair is all natural. It is? And what about the information in this book? That's all for real, too. Well, except for the shrinking and flying buses and kids passing through filters. Uh, besides, this is a book about a magic school bus. Huh. I guess you're trustworthy after all. You betcha! Thank <laughs> you.